Okay, well, I do think I do think we owe. Oh. We owe. Oh. We owe. We owe. Big O. Everyone like here, just just a moment, just a moment of 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 oh. prediction energy. Okay. All right. Um, because personally, right. I feel really bad about the idea of laying it all on Hermes. You know, the guy's going through a lot, and obviously he's he's a catalyst, but I would just feel bad as a person. I was a bit of a hot mess Thursday. <laughs> My cognitive abilities to analyze what we were playing were impaired because there was a lot of stimulus in my life on that day. Yeah. Um, and I, I think some of this came through, but I, I, I never really uh, expressed out loud or like it solidified the fact that it, it, at the beginning of what we played Thursday, I was kind of buying it hook, line and sinker that maybe the Hermes we met what it wasn't fan Daniel. Like when they were talking about... Well, Fan Daniel was off to die. He was going to replace well, his seat, and they're not right, shards at all. Right. And oh, so, I see. So in the oh, beginning, I see. when Emmett's like, oh, Hermes, Fan Daniel's stepping down, I'd like you to to join. I'm like, well, oh, wouldn't it be an interesting twist if if this Hermes isn't Fan Daniel? And so I was kind of just rocking that belief without stating it all stream. And then towards the very end, the last scene we get with Hermes, he starts yelling. He sounds exactly like Fan Daniel, like the Fan Daniel voice comes out um what are, what are you doing i just wanted to share with everybody something i made <laughs> and, and <laughs> that's I, you and me the whole time but i also want Elvis. everyone to enjoy the additional layer that is indeed a butterfly and this whole thing started with turning butterflies into clothes so i was that. expecting something more uh Star Trek is what I said in the previous stream. More like all of them come out and, you know, the whole mask and that's how they are maybe out in the city. Here in Do Whatever You Want No Maskburg, they get to be a little more personable. I expected more godliness amongst the unsundered. And they're very much human. And particularly... Okay, so we had this debate at the end of the stream on yeah. Thursday. Which... And particularly I, the my... part where uh, Hermes, Fan Daniel, Hermes... Hermes was like, uh, it lives in fear. And I was like, wait, you don't know that word. What the shit is that? Why would you even say such a thing? Where'd you learn the word fear, buddy? Why well, wouldn't they know fear? Well, because that was like fear entered their hearts. Like I, I figured that Elpis was just going to, not that it was going to be a happy, nothing wrong place. I, I was surprised that he knew what it was. And, you know, clearly he is a better, Hermes is perhaps a better person hmm. than the unsundered around him who freely re biomass well and there's still a wrinkle between hermes fan daniel as we're meeting him in elpis and yeah. the fan daniel that we fought in garlemald because that fan daniel is basically a mon more than fan daniel right well the, he got really he was he was too into it. He was too into being a mom. This is normally where I would make some kind of joke about isn't it so convoluted who cares? but I do care. Yeah, because you do it's care. well executed. Well, it's it's Lord of the Rings. We did the walk yes. to Mordor. Mordor, that's why we care that we're yes. here. So, yes. it's it's a long time yes. coming and we want these answers. Yes. Question. Okay, what was Jesse question? is not is is not in the room with us, but is in the room with us grilling us. Um wants to know why we think we're here where is elpis going why did we come to elpis i mean i thought it was pretty bluntly stated that we were going here to find out yeah, why why this happened days even started yeah and in hopes of figuring out how to permanently fix it not band-aid fix it by imprisoning zodiac which is no longer an option yeah we're making up a new one you know yes New boss, same as the yes. old boss. <laughs> Just make a new Zodiac. That's, yes. that's it. And then we Dawn Trail, because everyone needs a vacation after making a new Zodiac. You know, it was yeah. exhausting. In Yeah, in terms of in terms of that, I mean, I don't... I, 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 my brain tends to usually not work in a, I know exactly where this is going. Like, what scene happens at the end of Elpis with whatever bomb drop of story takes place? I really don't know. I really don't know. From a story writing perspective and in and, and, and exploring these characters, your your Emmets, your Hithlodeuses, your Hermes, I think the purpose is, of being here is to what like actually see them firsthand, witness the coming of the final days and how that affects them and kind of fill in the gap between the 
borderline utopia they enjoyed before the final days and how they kind of became the Asians that we knew and have fought yeah. throughout the course of this whole game. That's that's the purpose I think it's serving as to what massive revelations it will be. I have to imagine we'll get an answer as to what caused the final days and also the connection between Akasha or what are they calling it now? Dynamis? Yeah, well, that's their name of it. Yes. Yeah, the Icons yeah. Primal yeah, situation. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I want to I keep yeah. that information. No, you're doing good. You're Isn't that the good. name of one of the servers? Spoilers on servers, Final Fantasy XIV. That'd 14. be very exciting for them if that was the case. <laughs> the Akasha seems to be yeah. the culprit because let's be real here. And I do mean real in a very real sense. They are doing an excellent job in catch, capturing the loneliness of depression with Hermes and showcasing that when you're in those lows, it does feel like you're the only person on earth that feels that way. And to lay it all on like, whoops, er Hermes threw the wrong switch would be bad form. But that doesn't mean he didn't open the conduit. And that's how I'm curious to see how they go about it. He could, mm. by Bird Girl being made entirely of dynamite. <laughs> Dynamis. Unleash. Let's just call it Akasha. Yeah, Akasha. Unleash a great wave of something. But that still feels oddly personal because that's like his familiar that he, you know, built. And she's unstable, clearly. Bro, that is... That is deep. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? But yeah, you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. I have uh, slightly customized my ancient robe. Oh, how so? Well, look at me. Oh, you got this little battle gloves on? Yeah, ah, this yeah. is my ancient Dark Knight. And then I also okay. uh, grab my uh, my Hades sword since I'm hanging out with Hades. Well, oh, I see. I see. All right. Well done. Well done. It felt it felt fitting. Mm. The gamer goggles stay on. <laughs> During MSQ. MSQ. Where to now? If there is anywhere you would like to visit before we leave, I should be glad to know you the way. What? Excuse me. I should, I should be show glad to way. show you the way. Hermes has yet outright refused his position with the Convocation, merely postponed the decision. As such, I may as well resume my assessment. If we cannot accompany him, then I will content myself with questioning his colleagues. Ever the pragmatist, then allow me to remain your humble guide. And what of you, Valentuna? Will you continue along with us? Nodders. Wonderful. Our fellowship travels on unbroken. I say we explore another part of Elpis and see what new encounters there are to be had. If you would follow me, we will first head back towards Agnorus. Uh, 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 Agnorisus. Agnorisus, yes. Like anamnesis? Your your dumb car is clipping into my dress. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my my Nero wind up. Yes. Oh, I'm so sad. It never happens in game. No, it's 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 a uh, it, it happens in Home Alone. Yeah. Little Nero's pizza delivery. Exactly. From yeah. here we follow the path northwards to Norton Antivirus. <laughs> no, Notanius. 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 There we will find one of the Nias, which facilitates travel between the islands of Elpis. Elpis. First time travelers must be accompanied by someone with the requisite permission, which I have previously been granted. We only need use the device together once. And henceforth, you will have leave to use it freely. Shall we? We shall. Unless the need is pressing, I won't be tracking armies with my ethereal sight. Does Paul Man has to spy on someone's coming and goings in such a fashion? So don't ask. Oh, how the opinions change. <laughs> Where he becomes the biggest voyeur ever. Right? Yep. Just sitting up on a cliff Trees. on the first, just being like, what are these little freaks doing? Social conventions notwithstanding, perceiving ether requires deliberate and intense concentration. And we otherwise keep our eyes on the corporeal world. So kind. I have manners after all. All right. Hitlodea says... What was the word you came up with? Notius? I'm going to go with Natanius. Natanius. Here we are, Natanius. 
This Neus will take us to Kaliminios Zephyros. The second one was probably right. The Western Island. That's it right there, looming large over us. Oh, look, at I've just got someone's big butt next to me. Step this way, and we shall soon admire it from above. Do, do, do. I need to watch your cutscene, because I'm hearing your game audio. Yeah. Oh, you're right here. Might as well. There's no sound effects. Oh, no, they're, they're very, you know, the teleporting's light. I present to you Calamelios Zephyros. Alligator brackets? No. Here you will find a number of testing facilities, as well as the observation hub of Poiton Oikos. Right then. Let's begin by... Like such a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, an Arrayus. How delightful. Horrifying. This is it. This is what we came to help this for. Yeah. <gasps> it's the shark. And what, pray tell, is that? I fought one of you, two of you, actually. Ah. In one of the Anatomies. That's a new species of shark. <laughs> we approved the concept, but a few days ago. All these weird words, and you just call it a shark? Yep. Sharks are among <laughs> the most popular sea creatures. Rare is the day when someone does not submit a new concept. At first, they were largely orthodox. Consideration given to such things as size and environmental impact. And then, a whimsical someone thought to bestow it with flight. Another, superior intelligence. And then the floodgates burst. Concepts with multiple heads, or arms, or legs, or arms and legs, and so on and so forth. It was getting absurd. absurd. A part of me wanted to tell them to go away and find something else to create, but in the end, I couldn't deny their passion. She's gonna try and eat us. Here we are. Rare sighting of Pimbo Deus. Uh, is this, is this, uh... It's Mommy. Yeah, yeah. It's Crystal Mommy. That was too close. Are you unharmed? Makes sense. Well now, if it isn't a pair of familiar faces. But I'll talk to you on a boat. That we should meet you here. Worst kept secret. But this is been off. <laughs> oh, it's so confusing. I need the flashback. <laughs> it's my hero academia all over again. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, the better part of the convocation holds that when we retire is when we return to the star. Well, she is not among said majority. Even after stepping down, she carries on with her work. Vinar is her name. And she is the previous Azim. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, okay. What? Yeah. It has been a while, Hithlidaeus. You look well. Less so, Emmet Selk. I dare say the lines upon your brow have oh. both deepened and doubled Thanks. in number. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to it. I, I have a questions. Shame for one so young. You must make an effort to frown less often. Damn. <sighs> Bad form. I am mad Easier said coming. than done, thanks to your unruly successor. How is he, if I may ask? Incorrigible as ever. Rushed headlong into a volcano on the brink of eruption just the other day. I should be glad to share the tale in its entirety later, if you're so inclined. Ha! Oh, you know I am. Now then. You are? So breathy. <laughs> Your sunglasses. My future so bright. Have you perchance come from the future? Hmm. 
I do not believe we have ever met, yet I sense my magic upon you. Therefore, if I wove the enchantment, I could only have done so at a later point in time. Wow, you picked that up quickly. Pre-watched. <laughs> hmm. What manner of magic is this, if I may ask? A traveler's ward, of course. It prevents the corruption of one's ether. There's no way I'm saying that top one. That is, like, I enjoy being a Boy Scout, but that is way too fanboy. I, I'm, I'm Plus, more interested in the bottom one We anyway, are so far coy. from calling it the blessing. Like, it's, that's like to regress. That's like to go back in time. I it's still it believe. It should be called the PTSD of light yeah. at this point. No, that's not yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, I'm going yeah. Uh, bottom. Three, two, one, go. Primals, you say? Well, I'm not familiar with such beings, but if they enthrall by walking the balance of ether, then yes, the magic would afford you a measure of protection. I gather from your question that you are not ignorant to its presence. Hold on. From the future? That's absurd. <laughs> Look around at... Flying Island. What is it? Are you unable to speak of the matter? The reality to which you must return exists as a result of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. Just, you could just pull out a photo and watch your hands start fading. So, your actions here will not change your history, but they may yet affect the course of ours. How very exciting! I'm quite fond of delving into the unknown, and there's naught more unknown than the future. <laughs> Until a moment finally arrives, we cannot know for certain what will come to pass, regardless of our supposed foreknowledge. So you needn't worry for us. More importantly, that you should go to such great lengths as to travel unto the past bespeaks the gravity of your quest. Will you not reveal it to us? Mayhap we can be of aid to your cause. <sighs> yeah, get grumpy. If this is true, then you've been keeping quite the secret to yourself. You told us to not talk. As a representative of the Convocation, <laughs> I will hear it all. Your identity, purpose, everything. So I killed you. Why don't we move to a place more conducive to calm conversation? Yeah, this place pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working here for some days now at an old friend's behest. If it is agreeable, we may make use of my accommodation at Poit and Oikos. We were meant to meet. I am certain of it. Else I wouldn't have marked you so clearly and sent you unto myself in the past. Reminds me of the OG. It's precisely uh, the sort of mischief also. I would get up to. And quite inspired, if I do say so myself. Reminds me of the original Merle voice actor. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
I have a great many old cutscenes I wish to review, but that's best served in a video. Oh, rather than doing that live right now and, and keeping uh, this train rolling. Uh, yeah. But I do. Uh, that's in, uh, like obviously her being an adventurer makes a lot of sense. And mm -hmm. were you like downing yourself that you didn't predict that she was the seed of Asm? That seems kind of odd. It's a great connection to make, but I don't think that's I mean, a pretty given big the shot connection in the dark. between us and the, the importance of the light and all that type stuff. It 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 makes it's clean. It is it a is, real clean yes. connection once you just say it and it's out there. You're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a nice connection, but I I don't think you should uh, belittle your predicting abilities by not sensing it ahead of, of time. Of, of a lot of the revelations, this is one of the cleaner ones in yes. my mind that requires a lot less explaining. And yeah. I'm just like, ah, damn, I'm surprised I didn't think about that. At no point that I even consider it. I, I like I just like that she was like, that's cryptic and sounds like my bullshit. <laughs> it's. It's like uh, reminding Kyle of one of his old theories. <laughs> huh. That doesn't make any sense. Sounds exactly like something Sounds I'd like say. something I would have said, but I don't remember it at all. <laughs> uh. As far as I'm concerned, this nebulous talk of the future, uh, changing history, that can wait. First, I mean, to find out what exactly uh, you are and what you hope to achieve. It's also, it's a nice little bit of clean that... Elidibus introduced by being like, by the way, no matter how much you talk, you can't change anything, so go for it. You might as well. I mean, we can basically get him on board to explain it to us. Now, did it happen in the past, or is this a simulation of the past? It doesn't really matter. We're still here to get answers. Well, the fact that Elidibus warned us makes me believe that we are dealing with Back to the Future rules. Yeah. That we can affect the future. Oh, you think so? Why would... Why, 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 why complicate it by leaving the nature of the time travel rules in question when you have a character? You didn't have to have that character give you that warning, which would make it nebulous. But since we gave that warning, hmm. and who would know better how the time travel works than the lingering energy soul of the thing powering the time travel machine? That or this actually did happen in the past already, and we're just going to live through it anyway. That is also, if you are in a causality loop, then that yeah. it plays out that way anyway. Which I do like, though. Is I do like Terminator, the inevitability of Skynet. Uh, uh, Fry uh, being his own grandfather. Yeah. yeah, that's a cute one. And Hermes isn't here, and if he's... This is a nice, what I was talking about earlier, this would be a way for us to keep the blame on Hermes without it being entirely his fault. Because whatever he's up to while he's not oh, here... Oh, I think, I think we have already humanized Hermes enough that it can be completely his fault. Yeah. We already have a sympathetic cause. Okay. Whatever happens with Hermes at this point, I feel for Hermes. Okay. We, we, can, we can send it. And that's what this game does best, is make mm. sympathetic villains. Before the fact. And that's what I love about it. Because you haven't watched enough Demon Slayer to know that analogy, but it's a popular thing to d deliver killing blow... In modern anime. Now you should care. And now and their whole backstory there, why a, it matters. There's a lot about the format of Demon Slayer I do not care for, and that's one of them. It's a burden, and I will keep watching. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Just continue.